Hi guys and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be using the Morphe 35M palette. Um, I'm going to start off with the shade Vampy Vixen as my transition shade. shade I'm going to be using is FOTD um, and I'm going to just put that in my crease. I'm also going to blend it down into the outer corners of my eyelids as well. And now for my lid shade, I'm going to be taking Bossy AF. I like to spray my brush with a NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray and then apply it to my lid afterwards for a more vibrant color. In this next scene, you'll see that I have wing eyeliner on. Um, that was done off camera. And then I'll be taking the Benefits Bad Gal Bang Mascara to use for my lashes. And now for face primer, I'm going to be taking the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I really like this primer. I've been using a lot for my foundation um, and prepping my skin as well. It makes the foundation last longer. Um, and then I'll be taking the Too Faced Born This Way uh, foundation in the shade Warm Beige. I like to apply this with a foundation brush first before I um, use my beauty blender. And now I'll just be taking my Real Techniques Beauty Blender and blend out the foundation that I've already applied. Um, I like to do a beauty blender after using a foundation brush because it's easier to just get the foundation onto the skin and then blend it out afterwards. And now time for concealer. I'll be taking the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Tan. I like to apply this on my forehead, bridge of the nose and chin, and also under the eye. the stain sponge to blend out my concealer and as you can see I also tried to clean up my wing liner as well with the concealer um, it just makes it easier and smoother without having to go back in and touch up Now to set the concealer, I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty Instant Retouch Setting Powder in the shade Banana. I like to apply this under my eyes, also along the sides of my nose to give my nose kind of a contour and highlight, um, and also on the bottom of the nose and a little bit on my forehead just to kind of set my T-zone for just in case if I get oily throughout the Now going back into the eyeshadow palette, I'm going to be taking that shade FOTD that I used in my crease and I'm just going to be smoking out the bottom lash line. I know it's a little hard to see but um, I'm just going to be using the thinner end of a brush and just smoking out the lash line. And now to set the whole face, I'm going to be using the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish Powder in the shade Dark Tan. Um, I haven't dusted away the excess powder from the baking yet so I like to just go in all at once and dust away and set the whole face. And now going in with the NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray and just spraying my face. 
now to bronze and contour the face i'm going to be going in with a smashbox bronzer in the shade warm matte i like to use a domed rounded brush to get into the hollows of my cheeks and also contour the temples of my forehead And next I'll be using the Fenty Beauty Bronzer in the shade Island Ting. Um, this is one of my favorite bronzers to use. Next going in with the Bobbi Brown blush I'm going to be using in the shade Pink Clay. Um, and I'm just applying this to the apples of my cheeks. Now time for highlight, uh, I'm going to be using the Becca Cosmetics Cream Highlighter in the shade Champagne Pop. For today's lips, I'm going to be using the MAC Lipstick in the shade Taupe. Going over the top, I'm going to be using the Patrick Ta Lip Gloss in the shade Cheese and Influencer. And here's the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below for any other videos that you guys would like to see in the future. And once again, thank you guys for watching. Bye!